Hello again everyone, time for another Park City Television field test and as the snow comes down it's a perfect opportunity for us to talk about day packs. I'm Ori Hoffer. Joining me today on our day pack field test is Charlie Sturgis from White Pine Touring. Charlie, day packs come in all sorts of uh, varieties of sizes and suspension types. What are we going to be talking about today? When it comes to picking a day pack, you want to think about the use, the size of the pack, and whether you want one pack for one season or one pack to cover all the seasons. One of the packs that we're gonna be testing out today is this one from Mammoth, and uh, it is it's really a unique kind of pack. As you can see, there's a spring, almost a, a spring-loaded panel here in the back with a nice big gap, which means that in the summertime, if you're taking this thing out, you're gonna have a lot of airflow going behind your back. Uh, I could tell right away with the spring, with the ventilation mesh, Tell right away the pack was more comfortable on your back, especially it had a medium load in it. It wasn't particularly heavy, but the, you could tell the pack was sprung between you and your back. The pack just really felt comfortable, never felt anything digging in. Now this pack is a new pack from Black Diamond. It's gonna be out in uh, the spring of 2010, so it's not out yet. They actually introduced a ball joint in this pack, and this is not the first time this has ever been done, but what they've done is no one had actually introduced a ball joint to the hip belts and actually flexible shoulders. The shoulders straps are cabled together at the bottom. So when you're climbing or scrambling or on a run or anything that requires a lot of movement, so if you're ski touring with it and your hands are coming forward, that pack strap's not gonna be biting into your shoulder as much as it's gonna be moving with you. You know, if you're looking at a $100 day pack and gonna run around the mountains and use it for a little bit of out of bounding in the winter, it's a great pack. We also have a third pack that our cameraman Andy is wearing. It's uh, the latest from Osprey. Uh, tell us a little bit about this. This is a little bit bigger pack that uh, Andy has on. It's a 50 liter. And once again, we brought out three different sizes so we can talk about how to use them. The big thing with it, like an Osprey pack is this company has spent a lot of time fine tuning the fit on their packs. That would probably be the their, their killer thing about their packs is that you can tune it for almost anything you have going on. So basically you can see a pretty sophisticated uh, frame sheet here. Uh, they do size their pack. So now you're starting to talk about uh, actual back length being matched up to the consumer. You also can see there's a lot more bells and whistles here. You have you have gear loops for climbing. You have your ice axe loops in back here, uh, right here. And you get your ski loops for holding on your skis. You're gonna be able to slot your skis through here. You also on this pack can actually uh, take your skis and come across. When you actually take a look at day packs, one of the things I like to point out to people sometimes is if you pick a pack a little bit bigger than the job you think you're gonna do with it, then you avoid having to overstuff your pack. Large packs that are understuffed are gonna carry better than small packs that are overstuffed. So whenever you pick a pack, think about a little bit extra cubics because basically everything can be tied down on the pack. Uh, One I, thing uh, we, we, have to, we have to show you, especially on a day I like today, it has an integrated rain fly, just stashes right there in the bottom pocket. You throw it right on and suddenly everything inside stays nice and dry, which if you're hiking in the mountains could happen at any time. Sometimes they're a little funky. You know, they almost sort of don't work. I was impressed. It actually stayed on all the way back down to the car. It didn't slip. I thought oh, it was going to slip off the bottom. It didn't do any of those things. It actually, uh, I was impressed. It worked really well. So I've really enjoyed this Creon Element uh, pack from Mammut, but uh, it does have a couple of little drawbacks. As uh, Charlie mentioned, this is a smaller pack. It's only a 25 liter. So uh, you know, packing is at a premium. With these hard ribs, these hard metal ribs on the back, it makes it really hard to pack stuff in because the back isn't very flexible and you don't have a lot of room up front so you really have to be careful about how much you're packing and what you're putting in there know exactly what you want to uh, bring the one thing we're looking at when you're talking about negatives and packs yeah basically as we go up in price range you're generally going to go up in size you're going to go up in fine-tuning of the suspension system and you're going to get more more basically tricks and goodies in the pack so you're going to see lots of good packs at 99 bucks and lots of good packs like the BD one here at 150 and lots of good packs like Osprey at 200. But depending on whether you need all that or not, it's really up to you to decide or how, when you go into a local store, that's what you expect from the salesperson, help you decide whether you need all those things because 
no sense carrying them or paying for them if you don't need them. Well, that's another great reason to stop by your local shop and uh, talk to a salesperson and try out lots of different packs before you buy. You don't have to buy the first one. Uh, and remember, just like running shoes, color is not the sole uh, reason to buy a pack, right? Uh, fit and use uh, should be. Fit and use should be priorities, but you know, colors, I mean, the manufacturers do try hard with colors, so they do look cool as well. But let's not make color the first reason to buy something. Exactly. All right, that'll do it for this field test. If you want to see all of the Park City Television field tests, please go to our website, parkcity.tv. Charlie, thanks so much. It's a pleasure. Let's nice go. to get out for a hike. Yeah, let's keep going while this snow comes down. Yeah, hard to believe, huh? Yeah, it's October. <laughs>